now let us discuss what is the role of a river in the economy if you remember the ancient period times when man started to learn to get settled at some particular place or man started his civilization actually at a river bank river nile river indus are very good examples for this so from the ancient period to the modern period man has always been associated closely with the rivers so man's life started settling only at the river places or at the banks of the rivers so it's not that rivers do not contribute to economy rivers do contribute largely for economy that to a country like india where largely 70% of the indians depend directly on agriculture where the rivers supply water for the agriculture by irrigation facilities and we also use the rivers for navigation transportation and we also nowadays creating dams and generating electricity from this one so rivers do largely contribute to the economy of a country and especially to a country like india where many people do depend on agriculture so most of the people's livelihood is directly associated with the rivers so that's how rivers contribute largely for any country's economy and many people are earning their livelihood because of the flow of the rivers and now understanding the major serious concern of the time that is pollution the rivers are getting polluted and contaminated very seriously we have to take it very seriously because the river pollution or the river contamination happens when the dust waste and the chemical output everything the effluents everything gets joining into the river and when the river is using that one it has a capacity to cleansing itself so the river start to cleanse itself for example like take river ganga river ganga so river ganga takes the effluents with it and within 20 kilometers of the city itself it tries to cleanse itself and make the water clean for the next part but because of rapid industrialization and urbanization the output of the waste the output of the chemicals is going on increasing rapidly which is resulting in reducing the capacity of the river to cleanse itself so that's how the problem of the real problem starts here so the real problem is that the effluents are getting added the chemicals are getting added to the water and also the cleansing capacity of the river is being reduced because the huge loads of the chemicals are getting added to this so it is a serious concern which we all need to remember and react to this one it's a high time we all need to take a call on this one so that we all know without river water the survival of a human being is really a tough task we all knew that so it's a high time we need to respond this one and we need to preserve our rivers on the action of this one only we got the ganga uh, reaction plan or protection plan which are rehabilitation plans were been brought to clean river ganga from 1985 to 2000 different phases are been established in this one so we all have to do our own contribution by stop using the rivers like dust bins then automatically the river will become pure and its cleansing capacity will increase when you stop putting the unnecessary waste into the rivers resulting in the regeneration of the cleansing capacity of the rivers finally all will be happy rivers play a very major role in everyone's life rivers are very important for the human beings survival that's all we have in this lesson drainage if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus